Hello there again. Let's start another project. Today I want to carve a tribal mask onto this nice piece of wood. It's 23 inches by 3 inches by just slightly under 9. And I'm going to use a full piece and we'll just play it as we go along. It can all be routed out apart from the sanding at the end. These are the bits I'm going to use. The smallest little one there for the outline work. Then we move on to that one. And the bigger the piece come out, the bigger the bit we're going to use. And then I have that bad boy. That's actually three inches, is that one? The yellow side of it. It's identical to the three inch wood. But seriously, I've used it once and the vibration is horrendous. So I might have to try my bigger router on that one. If not, I'll leave it and we'll see how we struggle along, like we always do. Okay, we've got our wood. Let's get started. Right, we've printed off our tribal mask that we're going to do today. Best way to transfer it onto the wood is literally carbon paper. That's the way I do it. Some guys could stick that straight to the wood and route it out. It just doesn't work for me. So get your carbon paper underneath, get it stuck down and basically go around it. As you can see from that, we've done this one already. So he's all drawn around. I've altered things slightly. I don't know if you could notice up there, we couldn't fit the feather in. So I'm going to do away with that one and make that inner brown one, the smallest one. And also, down the bottom here, I made mine a full circle, the centerpiece, and put a line along the bottom. So, slightly different. Also, you notice that goes in just there. I made mine a full piece here to make it stand better. Okay, so we've drawn that all out. Just move that out of the way. I'm messing about today, aren't I? Now, you could get the thin CNC bit. And literally draw around that, that'd be that one there. Paint it black, sand it down, and then just paint these individual colours that you need. What I'm going to try and do is give it a bit more depth. So I've marked this off as you can see, number four being the deepest, then up to three to the teeth, two for the lips, and one, anything number one on that won't be touched, but obviously we'll be going around the outlines and we're going out round this around with number three same up here on the feather that with the eyes point number one so we won't touch that then we'll drop it down slightly to do number two we'll drop the router deeper should i say to do a number three and we'll go deeper again to do a number four and it looks like there's even a number five there but we'll play that bit here and see how we get on okay i've got my little CNC bitting as I call it. What I'm going to do, because this is the deepest point, number four, I can basically do all that mouth in there and then we'll concentrate on doing maybe the harder bits as we call it. So I've got the pin in there. I'm going to literally just draw around this front, do the deepest point and then we'll come up to the teeth and then onto the lips. So I'll start this one now. Right, you can see roughly what we're doing. I'm still going to, have to go down a bit deeper yet. But if you imagine that was an inch in depth, the teeth would be three quarter of an inch in depth, and the mouth, sorry, the lips would be half an inch in depth, and then a quarter of an inch for the nose. So even though 
I've got to have this nose higher than the lips, so I'm going to have to take this down quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch, or whatever. You get the general idea. Right, we can see from this I've removed most of the mouth. It's actually only three quarters of an inch in depth. So from the nose to the lips will be a quarter, from the lips to the teeth a quarter, and from the teeth to the bottom of the mouth a quarter. So three quarters of an inch in total. I've also gone around the sides. I better use a router. The three inch router bit, my eyes, is just a waste of time. The vibration is horrendous. Even with my bigger router, I couldn't really hold it. So that's slate to play so far. I've removed the cheeks. Only so I can skim off the sides. And that's a lot easier than digging down with the cheek. And then removing the sides afterwards. But yeah, so I'll continue with this. I'm sorry for the uh, short workings of the router. But we've seen them working before. So I'll start removing some more of this. Okay, the mouth's nearly finished. I'm going to leave the lips right to the end because as soon as I knock that down, I'm not going to have a lot of space to put my router on. I'm not happy with this, so I'm going to take that off completely and just start off at the biggest point and then take that in. Half an inch. So you get this shape, but underneath the stand. If you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to take that in, start from there, and then take it in as I go across. Give it a dome effect, is it? Is that the word I'm looking for? So we'll start taking this bottom section out and I'm going to do, as like I say, I'm going to do away with all that. There's too much going on for me. So let's clear this up now. Right, that bit's all come down nicely, shaped as we need. I'm going to start removing the lips now. Once these are done, we can't do a lot here because the nose is going to be sticking up in the way. So there's nothing for the router to balance on. So it's the last chance with that one. I've made myself a little gauge thing. That's an inch, three quarters, half an inch and a quarter. That's ideal if you're going to be making half a dozen of these because they can make them all basically the same. So as you can see with that, the mouth goes in three quarters of an inch, the teeth go down half an inch, and eventually when I take the lips, they'll go down a quarter of an inch, and that's that bit finished. And if I was to make another one, that could be handy. If it's a one-off, you also don't need that. So we remove the lips now, and then we start moving up.
Okay, we've removed the lips. Slight little rise on the nose. So that that's finished now. We'll go around with the sandpaper afterwards. Maybe the Dremel just to give it a bit of a tidy up. But as far as I'm concerned, from the nose downward is finished. So I've got the same procedure. These will stop in place. So I'm going to remove all this and all around the eyes. And then we'll get up to the feather section of the address. So I'll continue with this now. Right, you can see I've cut around this bit already. These are going to be the bits that are going to come out. So all that's going to come out. And then the centre of the eyes. I've just got this one eye to cut. Then I'll change the little pin bit, CNC bit, should I say. And then we'll say we'll take all this section out and hopefully leave us an eyeball and some kind of design under his eyes. I was originally going to draw a circle in the middle there to make an eye. But I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with that. So at least we'll have to do for his eyes for today. So I'll, I'll draw around this section, change the piece and then we'll start taking all this section out. And it's going to really start taking shape. Right, we're taking shape nicely. What I have noticed is there's a nasty knot in there. But as it's going to be painted, it won't matter. But be conscious of that when you're picking your woods out and stuff. Anyway, we've done the uh, under the eyelids. Done his eyes. I think I preferred I had done an eyeball in the middle of them too. But it's too late now, so we move on. This is going to be the height, the nose and all that band around there. So that middle piece to come out, uh, that'll be the eyes point there. And that bit there stays, and the circles are the lower bits. But I'm going to start at the thickest, or the furthest away feather, and then build up and come up to the top, because you're going to need this surface to actually run your router on. I've only got quite a small base on mine, very small plate. And you'll find if it's not level, you're going to start tipping all over the place. I just to say you got away with the lips here, with the distance of the nose to the bottom of the lips. But anyway, so I'll start off cutting around this. We'll start removing the feathers and we'll come from the top downwards this time. Right, you can see we've removed one of the feathers. There's not a lot of thickness to play with. I literally got that, which I think is a quarter of an inch. Remember our little gauge, that is a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to raise it a couple of mil, take that feather out, then raise it a couple of mil, take that feather out, then raise it again and take the final feather out. Now it might be by the time I get to the top, I've run out of wood. So therefore, we'll have to go down to this one again, lower that down a bit more, lower that down, lower that down, lower that down, and same on the other side. To get the effect of it overlapping and joining the middle. Ignore that. That's going to be one big feather in the middle. And then we'll start to say, taking these out. Like I said before, we've left all that there. Because we need that much as that base as we can to allow the router to run on. So I'll start removing the rest of these feathers.
Right, as you can see, we've got the feathers done now. They've actually got thinner and thinner as I've made it to the top, and I'm quite happy with that. Because to keep them all the same thickness, I think I would have been halfway down here somewhere, then that would look stupid against the headband at the front. I just think that's the headband there. But anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, this one, I want to go around these and have these sticking up. Because I want that middle and sticking up. So we'll cut that one out next. Right, we've done that section of the headdress. I've got this last bit to do. And then we're on the homeward stretch of sanding and general cleaning up. I've got the side bits to sort out yet. Uh, really a lot of tidying up on them. So i put my slits in as you can see. I'm just going to remove that inner section. And then we start getting the sandpaper out and just generally tidying it up before we start applying the paint. I personally think the painting is going to be harder than routing this thing out. But anyway, I'll continue and remove this last section. Right, that's complete now, or as far as we're going to get. We've done what we can do. Going to be down to the painting now. Feathers have come out nice, I'm pleased with them. Now, as you can see, I've done the sides. Basically with a little sanding burr. If you had a nice band saw, you could have cut that out. I want it slightly rough looking, because remember it's meant to be on a log at the end of the day. So you don't want it too crispy. Now to be honest, when I originally started this, I was going to do exactly the same on the back. But have a smiley face on one, and a, we'll call it a grumpy face, should we, on the other. But uh, it's been too much like hard work. I also like it just as it is, to be honest. But I'm going to have to paint it because I think that was the whole idea of the uh, project. So, mainly just wood stainers for the bottom, the cheeks, and round the eyes. And then we have proper little paints. These teeth are going to be a nightmare. I think mean, if I was to do another one, I should have painted that mouth in a long time ago. And then when you route over the teeth, it would have left this all nice and crispy. In the end, I might get masking tape and mask on. Because you're not just doing the front, you're actually painting the sides of these as well. The sides of the lips, underneath the lips. But we'll, we'll put the stain on first and see how we get on. Okay, that's all finished now. It took some painting. I think I preferred it either way, with or without the paint. But yeah, one tribal mask. It's a good size, if I can just show you. Good thickness. The hardest bits were getting inside these here. And right on the side. So there's a bit of masking off to do. And these top bits here. Yeah, it's a nice size, 21, 26 inches, something like that. But that one's finished now. Thank you for watching.